Hey, Doug here. And uh, yeah, I'm recording on my smartphone just because I had my GoPro out all day today and yesterday and doing live streams and things. And I just left all my cameras at home. I wasn't gonna film anything at all. But um, I'm heading out to meet up with uh, Daryl from Wander Eats and Sean from The Frugal Wanderer for maybe some coconut ice cream and then maybe dinner. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what's going to happen, but uh, yeah, I'm just uh, heading out to meet up with these two guys and I have my phone in my pocket and I thought, well, let's just record a few minutes of what's going on just in case I want to do something with the video later. So, I'm uh, very awkwardly holding on to my smartphone, pinching it with my fingers, which is... Uh, Oh yeah, we're heading into the um, Boy Vien Walking Street area. One of the first places you notice is this one. Uh, I don't even know what it's called, but I always notice the, uh, the bright colors. Hello. Meeting my friend there. And uh, yeah, right here at the entrance to the Walking Street. But today is actually a very special day that um, might mean that the bars are sort of shut down. Today and tomorrow, I think, are both days of mourning, official days of mourning for a leader who died here. I don't know all the details. It's not something I've looked into. But I was told by people who would know about these things that because it is a day of mourning, any place serving alcohol would not be allowed uh, to open or maybe they can open but they just can't serve alcohol anyway so i was wondering what that would mean for boy vien walking street whether it would be uh shut down or not Here. so this is where i'm meeting uh daryl and uh sean first but I think I'm just gonna pop inside and get some ice cream. I don't think we were actually coming here to get ice cream. We're heading somewhere for dinner. But, I don't know, I really got my heart set on some ice cream. What have we got here? Got strawberry coconut ice cream, longan coconut, coconut ice cream with coconut pearl. And what would be their um, specialty? I'm not quite sure. Got a oh, coconut ice cream tray. That looks pretty cool. But I just want coconut ice cream original right there. That's all I want. Coconut with some ice cream. Um, I may be ruining my dinner, but that's uh, that's okay. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to head inside and order some. There's the view outside of uh, Ko Kodon. Yeah. I keep getting confused about the name because the, their specialty is coconut, but they call it Kodonut. I'm not entirely sure why. But um, Daryl is out there somewhere, Sean is out there somewhere, and they're both on their way here. And uh, this is the interior. I've actually walked by this place quite a few times in the past and then every time I walked by I was sort of attracted to it because I really love um, ice cream and coconut so put them together but I'm the type of person I, I sort of need someone like Daryl to show up and uh, goose me in the direction of actually going inside and ordering something um, you might hear from my voice and then look at my face. I'm just really tired. I'm exhausted. I'm barely even functional. So left to my own devices, I, I wouldn't even be going out for dinner tonight. I wouldn't have anything to eat. There it is. Coconut ice cream. Thank you. So there's the ice cream, and I wonder if that's coconut water. Just the way it was poured out, 
and served made me think there's something special in this cup. Uh, let me just uh, taste it. Yeah, that's a coconut. Coconut water. And then we have uh, ice cream here. I had a uh, coconut ice cream dish when I was in Kanto. I went, it was one of, I did a five snack evening, a five snack challenge at the night market there. And uh, one of the snacks was um, uh, coconut ice cream. Look at that. So this is a uh, purchase, just a vanilla ice cream. Yeah, vanilla. Very nice. And the cool thing, of course, is after your roll, even while you're having the ice cream, you can scoop out the uh, coconut meat from the inside of the of the husk. And uh, let's have a bit more. Yeah, I think Daryl has plans for us, as I said, to go get dinner. But <laughs> I could have this uh, coconut ice cream and I could just go back to the hotel, start editing video all night. I'm done for the day. But uh, once Daryl gets here and Sean, they will uh, hopefully wake me up, bring me back to life. So uh, Daryl and Sean both showed up. Um, they, they weren't having ice cream. I was the only one having dessert first. And I gotta say, the uh, yeah the whole deal wasn't what I was expecting. The ice cream was okay, but it tasted like pretty standard vanilla ice cream. But the coconut itself, it didn't really have any coconut meat in it. When I had that dish in the market in Canto, it was like a real brand new coconut with ice cream in it. So you got to eat all of the coconut meat afterwards or while you're eating the ice cream. This one, they, they scooped it all out already. There was no coconut meat. So it was all kind of, it was ice cream, but served in an old coconut husk where someone else had already taken away all the meat. So that was kind of disappointing. But um, turns out that the place Daryl wanted to bring us for dinner is right beside the ice cream place. And uh, this is it. And Daryl, I think Daryl said it's his favorite food in uh, Vietnam and I guess I'm gonna find out what that is looks like a really nice place obviously Wander eats you know he knows his food <laughs> he was joking that hey we could go to Pizza Hut because there's a Pizza Hut right there in the corner and I'm like yeah absolutely let's go to Pizza Hut <laughs> I'm fine with pizza but uh, no Daryl said nope we're going here fine dining so I'm going to go in and uh, catch up with these guys. I don't know where they're sitting. <laughs> so I finally found Daryl and Sean. They, they tucked them way back here in the corner. And yes, 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 yes. It almost feels like a table I would usually pick out for myself because it's right, right beside the kitchen, people going in and out. So it's probably a kind of table I would end up at. But um, yeah, here's the interior of the place. Just uh, just give you a little bit of a look where we are. Very elegant on the inside. Chandeliers. Nice black and white photos of old Saigon. Those are nice. Oh yeah, we have them here too. I love these. But it makes me yearn for that time, right? To be here back then. And uh, it's like an old streetcar of some kind, right there. So I'll get Daryl to uh, tell us about the food in a minute. Daryl? Yes, sir. Where are we and what are we eating? Why did you take us here? Okay, so this place is called Buat Chaka. Okay. So Chaka is the name of the dish. Alright, so which is actually grilled fish. Uh, but they have varieties of fish types that they serve. Uh, especially this, this dish is originated from Hanoi. Right. So many many years ago there's one that was started in the old quarters. But through the years, of course, everybody is copying them and actually 
does better than them. Uh, so they are not so the original shop is not so nice anymore. Uh. So um, so far they have tried here in Saigon. There's not that many uh, here, uh, but those I've tried somewhat lags behind Hanoi. Uh, so this place I have not tried before. It's very highly rated. So okay. that's why we're here, and it's so close to where you, all three of us yeah. are staying. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, it's only 700 meters from my place, and God knows how many from yours. Not that far. Yeah, not that far. Right? Yeah. It was a 10 minute walk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I did. Which for me is like. So I mean, a bunch yeah. of things are showing up. Cinematic pan over the food. Yeah. <laughs> or the garnishes, anyway. So, so those peppers are just for you, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and an essential part of this dish are three things. Three things. Yes. Which is this. Peanut. So you must have it. Usually you put it together here. Okay. And then uh, you mix it with whatever vegetables you like. But they, they will cook. The, the fish with mainly this this uh, is also essential especially dill spring onions and dill uh, spring onions and dill I love this and um, and then from your side you just eat this together and the other essential ingredient is this uh, okay which is the fermented prawn paste I see shrimp paste sorry yeah. mm -hmm. and then uh, this is also they have dill inside the chili but this is essential I see and here we are Okay, so some cooking is going on here. My bit to so many chaka restaurants, and this is the first one that has this. Uh, I was wondering what that was, but it's a ventilation. I thought it was like a fancy laser for cooking, like pointing yeah, down. Put a little bit of peanuts and then uh, you can add coriander if you like, which I love. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, put here for you. Oh, thank you. There you go. <coughs> and then uh, and a little bit of the young spring onions if you want. Then, then the fish. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, usually it's pretty thick cut. Some of them are. Uh, uh, I'm just using for sure. I'm gonna cut a little bit of piece. Then you put it on top. Take a little bit of the dill. Okay. Put it on top. Okay. And then comes the most important part. <laughs> the most important part. So you drizzle this on top. Okay. Of course. Everything here is up to taste already. So it depends how you like this. You can add more if you like. Okay? And that's it. And then you just push it into your mouth. Mm. Oh man. Okay. So we worked our way through the main dish and now there's a Kind of a rice porridge. Fish porridge. Fish. Fish, fish porridge. I was gonna say I knew that was fish porridge. But it is rice. Right? Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's um, not exactly a dessert, but it's sort of an after the main course meal to have as well. We don't do rice. But yeah, the um, the fish is really good. Nice big chunks of uh, fish here that you can see that I'm still uh, walking through. Yeah. And there it is. Allow me. All right. No, oh, just to put it on camera. Hmm. Just to show. Oh. The, uh, yeah. oh uh, I see what you mean. Okay. Wow. Well, that's a dessert. Seems like a breakfast sort yeah. of a porridge for breakfast. But to me, this is more like a congee because it's so thick. Yeah, congee. Back out on the streets, there's uh, the restaurant behind me, uh, Chaka, or something like that. And uh, throughout the meal, I think we eventually figured out that the type of fish, in English, we would actually call them catfish, which I find kind of amusing because 
here, clearly this is like a delicacy, very popular type of fish that everybody is crazy about. But when I was a kid growing up in Canada, just a young boy, get together with your friends, ride your bikes, and you go fishing in the local creeks. We never wanted to catch a catfish because catfish we thought of as slimy and horrible and they had the whiskers. As kids, we, we always thought they were poisonous, that they would sting us. None of us, we didn't like like catfish at all, but here they're like a, uh, might be a different type of catfish though, I'm not sure. But uh, here, here are the boys. And uh, I think we're heading out for ice cream again. I already had, yeah, I had ice cream here at the Kodo Nut. But, um, Daryl says there's a big Swenson's nearby. I don't think I've ever been in a Swenson's. I know about them, but... So we'll see where Daryl brings us next. The boys and I are at uh, Swenson's now. <laughs> I was just uh, saying to, to Daryl that um, I've never been in one before. John has never been in one. We don't have them in Canada. So I don't know anything about them, except that they, they make ice cream. Ice cream, yeah. Right. So going around the table, what is your order? Uh, I got a midnight brownie chocolate thing. I don't know, it's a one, cup, one scoop of ice, chocolate ice cream. Scoop of chocolate ice cream over here. Chocolate frosted malt ice cream sundae. Uh, there was one more word in there. Uh, fantasy. Oh yeah, you're right. It Life was quite a, a fantasy. Yeah, exactly. It was quite a concoction you ordered there, Daryl. I'm, exactly. I'm. That's my go-to for every time I visit Switzerland. All right. Which I don't often, so I have to treat myself. There you go. Oh. That's my. And, uh, I, she, she looked at me and thought I was a fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time. Just talking about it, and here it is. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, okay. That would be more my style over here. Yeah. A scoop of chocolate, scoop of vanilla, then I'm happy. But yeah, look at that. Feast is a fantasy concoction. Let's get all cinematic here. And getting around to me, I ordered a milkshake. <laughs> Some of the freezy, Chocolate you call freeze. this. Yeah. yeah, but it's like... It's still the vanilla freezy, I think, but it has like chocolate yeah. cookie or something. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I had ice cream earlier, the coconut ice cream, so. Which was fantastic. What's that? Which was fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't so good. It, wasn't, it was not what I was expecting. Uh, I wanted more coconut. I didn't get my coconut. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm. Okay. I'm glad that they didn't have the other one. Little chunks of brownie there, really nice. Cool. Is that actual chocolate or is that a cherry on top? Cherry. Chocolate covered oh, cherry? Yeah. Right. Can I introduce you to this? In that? Yeah. You're not going to eat that? Why not? I'm quite full. Ah, okay. So, I, you can so interest that, me in it. That would put him over the top. I see. I, that's what I was thinking. Just yeah. that. This. This is okay. This. Okay. Oh, man. That's now, too much. Does that not make you think of the Monty Python? Ah, it's wafer thin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it is. Scoop some ice cream. Go ahead. Oh. So mine is chocolate. Yeah. It just it happened to have um, oh um whipped uh, whipped cream on top. That's why I thought it was vanilla. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Yep. There it is. And, uh, yeah. So that's what we're having now. And then, uh, tuck in. Enjoy this. So the night is winding down. There's yeah. the boys. Yeah. Daryl's heading in that direction, and then in a Both couple, of my day, right? couple days, Malaysia. And I'll Jesus. be hooking up with him in Malaysia shortly. And uh, you and I, we're, we're still stuck with each other for a few minutes yet. Yep. We're walking in that direction. Yeah. Few minutes. <laughs> Doug's like, I can't wait to get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he might just go to Dalat for <laughs> one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell him, don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> So what was that meal again? It was chaka? Yeah, yeah. Something Actually, like that. Actually, the, the full name is Chakalabong. Oh, okay. So, Chakalabong. Otherwise known as catfish. Yeah. 
Again, nowadays there are so many variations, but the original is a catfish. And in your opinion, that place, the best in town? It's Saigon. Yeah, best in yeah. Saigon. The original is, but actually this, I would say, it's just as good as Hanoi already. That nice. Was, yeah, All right. very good. Interesting yeah. meal, very cool. Yeah. All right, have a good night. Thank you. We'll see you. Take care of Malaysia till I get there. Say hi to your dad. <laughs> so heading back into the well we're still in district one yep. heading back to uh, my hotel and he's heading back to his hotel and so it's a little little <laughs> bit of an unusual evening out in a way certainly for me yeah i mean to think i've lived this many years i've never been to a swenson <laughs> same now i have yeah but oh, uh God. It's been over half a century that I've been around. I haven't been to Swenson. Yeah, before. I'm a Dairy Queen guy. Dairy, uh, uh, Baskin Robbins. Oh, Baskin Dairy Robbins. Yeah. yeah, I like those. Yeah, yeah. so. Oh, that was a good one. They, they actually had a better ice cream than I thought. Oh, yeah? I was expecting it to be more, I don't know, watered down, but it actually was a nice lunch. Yeah. It was a nice so. place. So I, I mentioned earlier that the country is uh, in mourning a little bit for two days so this is the uh, the walking street now in sort of a, a state of mourning there's no music playing volcanoes sort of shut down ocean is uh, sort of shut down that was a lot of excitement over a little bit of rain I don't know what that was all about. But yeah, it's very strange to see Boy Ven Street looking like this. They're still serving beer. They're open. You could sit and have a drink. But it's not really a party street tonight. It's very laid back. It's very somber, even though they're doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's very somber. You know, it feels like the power's gone now. Yeah, that's what it does feel like. The party is over and they're packing up or something. Oh yeah, last call. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. It's all very, uh, very quiet. Boy van. And I assume it's going to be this way uh, tomorrow as well. The 25th and the 26th. So I'm back at my alleyway. A scooter coming up behind me. Not a lot of room. But my uh, hostel is just up here a short distance. So that takes me to the end of this uh, little evening. Pretty amazing meal organized by Daryl. Certainly something I've never had before. A whole uh, dish of... Um, catfish like that yeah quite interesting and then uh, boy I started off with the uh, coconut ice cream just sort of waiting for the guys to show up so I figured I better have some of that coconut ice cream and then a Swenson's at the end <laughs> it's pretty crazy but yeah here I am back at the uh, full house hostel there it is up there the rain has stayed away which is nice but I can feel it, it wants to come pouring down So I think that's it for this casual little video. As I said, I just sort of uh, pulled the uh, smartphone out of my pocket as I was walking down the alleyway and thought, ah, record some of this evening. So that's it. Shutting down for now. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the next video.